All right, guys, and welcome back to the channel again. Um, tonight, I'm just back on the. Um, sorry about that. I was just back on the mark um, where I got that cut the other week, a couple of weeks ago. Um, I've just had my first casting now. Um, there's a massive, um, a massive sea on. It's um, gusting between, but well, averaging between 25 to 35 mile an hour winds. Um, during the day, it has been gushed up to high 40s, um, but we've got down. And um, it's actually uh, it's actually well fishable. Um, conditions are great. Just hopefully there's no weed. If there's no weed, it should be fine. Um, bit of choice tonight. I've got um, I thought that was well enough. Then I've got uh, frozen crab, bluey, mackerel, uh, frozen lug, and uh, that's it. That's uh, that's everything for tonight. Um, I should have really picked up, picked up some razor fish from my uncle's house, but um, I forgot to do that. Here's the rain coming on. Um, aye, so we're out, um, we're out targeting cod again tonight. I, uh, I looked at my, my reports from last year, and um, this time last year, I had 54 fish this time last year. Um, well, I'll get on the screen, guys, sorry about that, it's starting to rain. Um, I had 34 fish this time last year, and this year, I've only had two, but the two I've had are bigger than the 51 I caught last last uh, winter, a lot bigger, so um, so yeah, I just, but as I say, there's not much about really, dribs and drabs, very, drib, very much dribs and drabs, um, there'll also be a chance of a conger as well obviously on here, um, so yeah, so hopefully um, pull, a, pull a fish out like it. The, the sea, the sea is very large tonight, like very large. It's gonna be pushed right back up on them boulders up there, like. Um, so I gonna have to gonna be careful. I'm just down with um, a lad from work. He's just started uh, out fishing again. He hasn't fished for about 20 years. He's just started getting back into it. So I've um, invited him along with me tonight. Um, it's his first time ever fishing off um, off these marks, so. Um, just took his time coming down and um, it was alright so that's fair enough. Hopefully um, on the way back up he'll be okay. Um, I currently haven't got a, a camera stand again, the camera stand's um, uh, broke so I've had to order a new one so yeah I'm actually just resting here against my standing light. Um, and obviously if I catch out I'll just uh, keep, or if there's anything to report I'll just keep coming back this way, doing it this way for tonight's session. So yeah, right. <laughs> it's Christmas Eve as well, so I'm actually out on Christmas Eve. I'm, I've been allowed to go out on Christmas Eve, which is a very, very rare thing we've had in the way, lass. But we have spent all day since seven o'clock this morning. Um, we've been out till well, been out till at least three o'clock in the afternoon. Um, so we've had a busy day, and obviously I've come fishing tonight to try and catch a cod for for, um, for dinner uh, dinner during the Christmas period. Whether we do or not, I don't know. <laughs> that remains to be seen, guys. That remains to be seen. I just hope and pray um, the rain keeps off. Because last time I was down there, it was pissing down, and um, it wasn't great at all. Like it's forecast on XA weather 0 0.4 millimeters, so I'm assuming that's um, just a shower. I think maybe passing through. Fingers crossed, it's not persistent rain. <laughs> um, the mark I'm on today, obviously fishing high water, fishing into about maybe 30 foot over high water. Um, obviously, it's a reefy mark, but there's patches of sand out there as well. Um, and yeah, hopefully, um, hopefully we can nail a cod, a cod light. Last time I was down here, like I had you just under five pounds, as you just seen on my previous video. Um, I have been back out twice, um, but I've blanked both times, and honestly, there wasn't anything to report or anything during the session. So, whatever happens tonight, it's getting um, it's getting uh, uh, put on YouTube, so to speak. So obviously, I want to see pe I want people to see the reality of fishing that you're not catching all the time. Having said that, 
if you're an angler of the northeast, you seem to be catching all the time because there seems to be thousands of cod over there um, at the moment. So I just wish it was like that over here. <laughs> so, just fix that a second, guys. Uh, there seems to be um, a lot of cod over there at the minute. I only know maybe 20 fish maybe in total being caught over the west coast by all the anglers I know. So there's obviously not a lot. <laughs> Let's give you another wipe down. I'm sick of that screen going um, like that. There we go. Right up again. I feel confident tonight like that we'll catch another fish, another cod, another, another cod. But then. Um, We'll see how the session pans out at the end of the day or the end of the evening. What I heard something. <laughs> like a rock or something. Must have been just the tide going underneath that ledge there. Ah, it is, that's what it is. Like. Just the tide going under the ledge. If you could see this tide out there, it's, it's absolutely. It's perfect, like absolutely perfect. My type of um, cod conditions for over this this neck of the woods, like over where I live. So, um, if there's anything to report, guys, um, I'll get back in touch with you. I'll maybe even give you an, a um, a show of the beer presentation what I'm using tonight as well. Because um, I've, got, I've got all sorts of beer to use up, so I'll um, I'll give you as a demo later on with that. So um, yeah, if there's anything to report, guys. I'll catch you later. Tight lines. Cheers. Right, guys. We're now we're into the session now. Um, no bites, obviously. <laughs> um, but this, the the uh, the sea. Um, well, you can't see it really. You can. Big sea on. Um, some big swells. Gonna watch out, like. But um, I know about it as of, as of yet. Um, the guy I was with, who's, um, who works with us, he only had three casts and he's, um, he's gone yam. He's on, his, um, he's on his way up the cliff now, you can just about see him. Um, yeah. I it wasn't great. He, he, he said he didn't feel comfortable down here, which is fair enough. Like, oh, hold on, guys. I thought that was a bite then, but it could have just been the tide. Um, I said he didn't feel safe, so which is fair enough. So he's um, he's gone up, but he's gone up the cliff now. Said it was a bit extreme for him. I mean, it's not it's not for everybody this type of fishing like. So fair play too many ways. At least he come down and tried. So yeah, I'm sure that was a little bite then, like. I mean, stop doing it now though. Still four hours fishing left to go through, so hopefully we can bag a fish out. So, I'll, um, I'm gonna pick this rod up guys, because I'm not too sure if it's a bite or not. So, um, I'll catch it in a bit. Hello guys, um, again, currently no bites. It's been very slow fishing like, very slow fishing, given the conditions. Um, I thought there'd have been a lot more bites like. Well, I thought I'd have had at least air bites anyways, but not to be at the minute. It's quarter past eight now, high tides are half past nine. I was gonna fish it an hour out, but to be fair, I don't think I'm gonna bother. Unless if the, unless if we start getting bites over high water, which I very much doubt, but you never know. Um I'll stay another hour, but I don't think it's gonna happen like. We'll push, this is the furthest I've been pushed back on this mark. I'm right in amongst all the boulders. The tide's down there. There's a big, um, it's just white down there for about 20 yards and it's obviously big waves. So I've perched myself up on here. Nice little platform to be fair, big um, flat rock here in that. Anchored me rod down with the stone so it can't flip up. And yeah, uh, this is me, um, my next beer to go out. Frozen crab and mackerel. 
that's to go out next guys to be fair that's what i've been pretty much putting that out all the time uh, i've got bluey as well so and frozen lug i've been like mixing it all together but um like as i said no bites or anything like beer hasn't every time i'm reeling in the beer hasn't been touched so it is what it is isn't it at the end of the day hopefully um we'll get rewarded at some point again just one them um another one of them frustrating years on the west coast but not many fish about like a tide like that bait like that you should be catching a couple of fish at least like bare minimum but never mind hopefully um my mate made, made it up the cliff um in time well I'll say in time made it up safe i should say um i i'll give him a text when i get back home so yeah, so, um, let him know that I get back safe and that. So yeah, the wind's easing off a bit more actually. The tides, I've just noticed like the tide's starting to ease a little bit more. So yeah, so I'll let you know guys if there's anything else to report. Alright guys, I'm on my way back to my car now. Um, unfortunately, I fished five and a half hours pretty much from like an hour after low water up and um i didn't get a bite at all like bear to come in absolutely untouched um this, so this is my um my third blank in a row every session's been like what um what a video today but obviously I, I never uploaded them two videos but i'll upload this one like um even though there's not much to report at all um as i say perfect sea um, no weed, absolutely no weed at all. Um, well, I had frozen crab, um, frozen lug, um, what else do I have? Bluey, frozen mackerel, and not a touch like. Absolutely not a touch. So, yeah, third blank in the row now, guys. Never mind, it just shows you there's, there's absolutely not saying there's nothing, but there's very, very, very lack of fish. Like the fish are in patches here and there, but they're very, very few and far between, guys. So just gotta keep plugging away and see see what happens. Like, um, yeah, <laughs> as I say, I've fished over the, over the, uh, the heads twice now. I fished my local pier as well the other day and um, they, that's where the blanks were so uh, maybe after have to um, try a different venue I know the, the, um, the shallower rock marks and the mixed ground marks up the top end are producing codling but again patch, just very very patchy and um, not, very, not very big fish either but I suppose it's better than catching nothing, I suppose. Um, so yeah. yeah. But, um, thank you all for watching this video anyways, guys. It's very um, much appreciated anyways if uh, you've stuck around watching this, this video. Even though there was nothing going on really. <laughs> so, um, so I hope you all have a good Christmas, guys. And um, hopefully a happy new year as well. Hopefully it's better than my 2023 anyways. Um, as I say, it's been a crap year for me. This is probably the worst year of my life, this, to be fair. In terms of family and uh, fishing as well. Um, as I said, my mum died. Uh, my relative, Joe, who went fishing, he died this year as well. And it's been uh, the worst place season I've had. And currently up to now, it's the worst cod season I've ever had as well. Um, the only thing I had going from there, uh, I had a, f um, a few decent days on the summer cod in the summer, which was nice. Um, the back end of last winter season, that was good, because there was plenty of fish about. Um, and I caught, um, caught, caught a couple of decent bass in the summer as well. But other than that, guys, it's been... Um, it's been a, probably my worst year fishing, definitely a thousand percent. So glad you all stuck around, anyways, guys. It's much appreciated. Like, 
because uh, obviously not catching as many fish lately. It's it, the videos are quite boring, <laughs> um, but never mind. So I'll let you get away now, guys. As I say, I hope you all have a good Christmas and a happy new year. So uh, tight lines and catches later, guys. See you later.